This tutorial is to help you in factoring polynomials, specifically using factoring by grouping. When do you use factor by grouping? We have patterns for binomials and trinomials, but when you have more than three terms, oftentimes you can use factor by grouping. So this has one, two, three, four terms, so I'm going to try factor by grouping. The first step that you're going to use is to cut the binomial, the polynomial, into two parts. So I'm going to cut it right here. Now notice that I keep my sign on the right side. Okay, my next step is to factor out the greatest common factor for each part. So I'm looking at this part, the left side, and I notice that there's a greatest common factor of 3 for the numbers, 3 and 9. Greatest common factor is 3. The greatest common factor for the variable part is m squared. Bringing down my plus sign, greatest common factor on the right side is 7. And so now I've taken the greatest common factor out of each part. Now I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor again. Notice that both parts have an m plus 3. And then I'm left with the m squared plus 7 excuse me, 3m squared plus 7. And now I've completed my factorization of this polynomial. Okay, here is some more practice. First step is to cut it into two parts, keeping this, the operation sign on the right side. Now take the greatest common factor out of each side. The greatest common factor here is y, so I'm left with x minus 5. I'm going to copy my operation sign, and when I do that, notice that I have to change this sign because this is a negative, and when I multiply a negative 2 times a negative 5, I need to get back my positive. Now I factor out the greatest common factor again. This time I have a greatest common factor of x minus 5. And I'm left with my y minus 2. And I'm finished with my factorization.